Hello, Sarah, my sister. Um, maybe you should pick up your phone because that's low-key kind of rude. And I'm just trying to say hello for real. So I grew up with five sisters. And so when Dan and I were going to have our family, I was pretty excited when both of my pregnancies ended up becoming girls. I was comfortable with girls. I knew how to um, be around girls. And it was always fun to dress Elizabeth and Sarah in really cute girl clothes when they were babies and toddlers. And um, so that was always fun. When I think about us as kids, I always think about the crazy stories and outlandish characters we'd make up to entertain ourselves. So we had Galoompa and Mooma, and we even had our own band, The Creepy Smiles. But anyways, we just had these things to bond over, and we were so funny. I have a memory of, so we have a staircase in our house from the bottom floor to the top floor, and I remember every single Saturday night, because we would go to church on Saturday nights, one of us would sit on our butt and like, bump down the stairs and the other one would start at the bottom of the stairs and run up the stairs and then we would meet in the middle as one person was bumping down the stairs and the other one was running up the stairs and just fall down the stairs oh, I together do this. Yeah. just fall down the stairs together i couldn't tell you why but it's a very fond memory and it would always end us in us in a laughing heap at the bottom of the stairs yes. so gotta appreciate it for real just oh girls God. being girls mm -hmm. this is girlhood <laughs> I feel really safe being creative with Sarah. Even if it's just being creative in a silly, stupid way, I feel very safe. And that's important to me. I always thought she was so much smarter and way more social, way more cool than I ever was. But at our core, we were genuinely very different. Like I'm very type A and like freakishly organized and Elizabeth is a lot more chill in that sense. Um, it's always been like that since we were kids and I think that that contributed to us sort of drifting like middle school and high school where we just didn't talk as much or bond like we had before. I obviously don't remember a time that she wasn't in the house until she left for college and it became even harder to communicate because of the distance like with her being in Cincinnati and I'm in Barrington so we relied on the occasional text or a phone call or voicemail. Um, but it's been tough because it's hard being like the only kid in the house and there's no one for you to really talk to. But I almost feel like in that struggle of the distance, we started to appreciate each other more, like every interaction that we'd have because now like I cherish every voicemail or Instagram reel you grace me with. <laughs> it's just like exactly the type of relationship that I knew that we were going to have because we were just so different but so similar when we're together it doesn't take any effort i feel like it is so hard in this world to find people that you don't have to have a ton of energy all the time with you don't have to be on all the time it's hard to find people like that but with sarah and i i don't know if it's because we're sisters or because we're friends alongside being sisters but it's something in our relationship that i'm extremely grateful for is that i can just be myself without having to really try to put on a front so that's something i'm very grateful for even as We've gotten older and we've drifted because of the distance. I feel like the quality of the time that we spend together, even though the quantity is less, the quality is so, so great. There's definitely been ups and downs, but I feel like every sibling relationship, especially with sisters, has its ups and downs. No relationship is going to be perfect. Because um, we still share a lot of love. Uh, thrifting, photography, I'm reading my list, Timothy Chalamet, getting sweet treats when you're in town, the Bengals and a lot more. Um, so we've really grown with each other. You're my day one. <laughs> I love you. I love you. <laughs> I love you so very much. I miss you so, so, so very much, Sarah. You're the best. I literally brag about you all the time. I love you and I'll talk to you later. And I'll see you for spring break. I love you, bye.